Hey guys, psyched to have you here. My name's Jay. Sandy. You gotta finish this video so that you can learn how to win your prize at the end. <laughs> Which will be distributed, right, at your Jay Lounge party. That's Should right. Be good. Should be yes. good. No, so every year we normally do all this stuff at the first meeting, but Jay's like really condensed those first meetings down. So what we wanna do is actually just give you a little video, do it ahead of time, get rid of the, the um, must knows before they come into the boardroom. Just trying to bring you some fun information that is going to be serious. Yes, we're, we're very excited about this. All right, very serious though, good topics. A lot of this is legal stuff that we have to cover. So first of all, I normally, normally one of the first things I promised every president and we asked the board to promise it too, is no surprises. But Jay came here today with a lot of surprises. He doesn't know we're gonna try to film this straight through because uh, I don't really have time to edit a whole video. So uh, you're gonna get us in our raw self and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. I like it, let's do it. All right, so what do they need to know? Everything. You gonna tell them or am I? I think you should. T time, location, start with the, the good stuff. It's gonna be an hour. That's it, one hour. So I really need you to read the stuff, click on those links. She's gonna go over that later. Uh, while you get the information, which is gonna be days before the meeting. Okay, that's huge. Yeah, an hour's tough. Um, this quote says people who enjoy meetings should not be in charge of anything. And I don't enjoy meetings, but I do enjoy talking. Jay does not enjoy talking, he enjoys sarcasm. But I bought this book called Smart Brevity. So it's gonna allow me to hopefully have some good meeting materials that are quick to the point and will help you like understand the topics before you get into the boardroom. And we're gonna go with it. I'm Perfect. Gonna a shot. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. What so, else? Do you want to mention? You, you want them in person, right? In person, absolutely. There's only nine meetings, guys. Nine, nine. What's that? Nine hours for the whole year? Possibly 13 and a half if you can take a half hour before the meeting and go over that document that Sandy will send days before. I think it's an easy task. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Not bad. So there is a Zoom option so that you don't miss any of them, but the confidentiality that you get in a boardroom, you don't have with Zoom, and we have run into problems. So we've learned some things, so we're going to tell you earbuds in if you're going to be in a Zoom meeting, um, if you're coming in via Zoom. Again, you have to be in a really secure place so nobody sees or hears what's going on. It gives the people in the room confidence. And um, yeah. do, you, do you remember that time when somebody's mom piped in about a topic that we were talking about? <laughs> it did happen. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so make sure that if you're Zooming in that it, you take all precautions. The president will call you on it as well. So. And pants are optional on Zoom. You just have to stay seated. <laughs> I remember the state meeting when somebody stood up to do the pledge and did not have pants on. A lot of them did not have pants on. All right, so I'm going to send you meeting materials in advance. Um, they're going to look like this. I have like a sample here so you can see it. See those blue things? Those are called hyperlinks. So you're going to get typically a two-page agenda, maybe three pages if we go long. So the agenda is going to have all of the items and then in summary format. Those blue links link off to more information. So you click to get the previous meeting minutes. You click to get the um, treasurer's report. And you have to click those links to, to do your homework correctly, right? And don't worry about reading everything. If you're not familiar with that subject, move past it. Get familiar with the subject that you want to be familiar with because everyone's going to have their own input. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would say read everything, but. <laughs> yeah. I would say not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we try to keep it concise, hence the smart brevity. So it's really important. And the other thing, too, to do is if you read something and you think, I don't even know what that is, and I and I feel totally inequipped to go into the meeting, call one of us in advance. We're, that's what we're here for. And uh, we can give you a really quick summary of anything. We can answer any questions, and that's our job. That is our job. All right. Are we are we gonna get snacks? We're gonna get snacks. What kind of snacks are you gonna get? Well, because now it's a different meeting time, so we're like all thrown off. Oh, Last really? year we tried to do healthy snacks back from COVID. We went, you know, the yogurts, the you know, all the you fruit. know, the, the granola. fruit, the granola, some some cheese sticks. Everybody wanted the Pringles and the donuts. Um, that was our, our biggest seller. So we're gonna have like just general snacks. We always have them here, lots of drinks. Um, and then because you're starting at 11, we're going to have like a little grab and go lunch so people can eat lunch during their hour. And Can't miss that. That's why you got to be in person. Yep, absolutely. All right. What do you think? 
What about the temperature? I feel like it's perfect today. Today is good, but it's never this today, good. It's because it's summer and uh, yeah. winter here. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, normally the room is really hot. Unless somebody opens a window, then it's really cold. And then in the summer, it's really, really cold. So layer up. Layer up. Don't <laughs> worry about it. It's only an hour. We'll get through it. All right. So talk about the most important thing. Well, I, th I thought we already talked about snacks. I know. Confidentiality. Ah, that's right. Come you on. Gotta, and, and why is that so important? Well, so there's a couple of different reasons. One is that, like, remember when we had, like, a board member go out and give uh, information to somebody who's suing us? Yeah, our, our attorneys pretty much lost their mind. But it doesn't even have to be that egregious, basically. It's just talking outside of the room uh, things that you haven't talked about in here. And you know what? It's saying... Well, Jay Nocher said, blah, blah, blah. Everybody needs to feel really comfortable when they're here. They need to feel like they can speak. And nobody's going to go out and, like, you know, talk about what you talked about. Every vote that we make is public. Everything that we, you know, kind of go out to the membership with is public. But, you know, all the discussion, all the back end, all the making of the sausages, so to speak, that's all confidential. What can we go back and tell yeah, so anything that we're working on, you can tell them how to get in, in touch with the board if they had specific questions for the board. Um, and usually the board is going to talk about, during the course of the meeting, what we're going to talk to the members about. So, like, if you have an agenda item and there's a motion, absolutely go talk to them about it. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, you just don't give, you know, all the background stuff. Yeah, love yeah. it. All right. What else? The big stuff, how you run your meetings. How do we run the meetings? I know. It's a free-for-all. It's yeah. a free-for-all. People are just crazy, talking over one another. It's no, crazy. <laughs> that, is not, that is not true. <laughs> yeah, so Robert's Rules of Order, people have heard about it. It's not that intimidating. Basically, the biggest pet peeve of anybody when they walk into the boardroom is when other people either talk over each other or have side conversations because you know when we're talking like this it's pretty annoying to the rest of the group. So what we hope is that you uh, just – Get his eye, catch his eye, do this, yeah. even uh, interrupt and say, excuse me, Jay. Because uh, what he's going to do is he's going to try to call on everybody to talk, but really wants everybody to talk. So even though you never did when you were at the board meetings. I did that one time. That one time you yeah. did talk at when the board meeting. When I was asking meeting. about snacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, make sure you ask questions, make sure you talk, give your opinions because it really matters. Like. One of the worst things you can do is walk out of the room and we find out that you had a totally different opinion or you had a perspective that we never heard about. Right, and we want to hear it. Yeah, that's, that's what you're here for. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely. why you're here. So, talk. So, there's uh, lingo. There's, so, there's lingo. There's lingo you probably haven't heard or maybe you have. Um, I was never on student or school committees, so when I first started the board, I heard motions and adjourn and I, didn't, I thought I was in court. So, can you go over some of that stuff? Like, what does a motion mean? Yeah, so it's really simple. Anything that we need to take a record of and anything that we want to be able to go out and tell our members that we made a decision about, we should have a motion about. So, as your job, you're going to read certain things, and I put it in the agenda. Like, we need a motion to approve our financials, that you've looked at them, you understand them, you've gotten a report from the treasurer, you need a motion. How many motions do we need? It depends upon how many items you want to act on in one meeting. Okay. You can have two, you can have zero, you can have 18. If we have a motion, do we need a second? You do. And what does the second do? So a lot of times what you're going to do is you're going to say, is there a motion to approve changing our name to the coolest board in the world? Makes sense. Yeah. And then somebody makes that motion. They'll say, I so move. And you'll say, okay, we have a motion to make that change. Is there a second? And that lets the body know we're even going to talk about it. If there's no second, it means there's not even enough interest. No conversation. Some crackpot just made that motion, <laughs> and it didn't have the support of the body. They didn't even want to. They didn't even want to talk about it. Don't let that scare you. We want your motions. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> yep. And so that's easy enough. So if somebody in the room will say second, easy enough. Jay opens it up for discussion, and then that's when everybody has a kind of a free for all. You you know say what you think. You let people know your opinions. You listen to other people's opinions. The biggest thing, listen to other people's opinions. Yeah, because I think it can change how you are looking at things. You learn a lot from that. And we learn a lot from you, so yeah. we need that input. Yeah. So Jay's going to eventually, you know, hearing no further discussion, he's going to call for the vote. Yep. We do verbal votes, so everybody in favor say aye, aye, everybody opposed, opposed. Um, abstentions are only if you have a conflict typically, or you choose not to vote because you feel like you have a conflict. What so, would a conflict mean? Yeah, so conflicts are big deals. You have to mention conflicts before you come into the, the, come into the vote. Conflicts are anything that you feel like um, you can't make a, an informed decision about or you have some sort of conflict. 
for example, we had some instances when we were making decisions about education and we had somebody in here who ran a school. So they would, you know, say, I have a conflict. This competes with another business that I have and I, you know. And we so they stay out of it. it. Stay out of it. Perfect. Yep. I think that makes sense. Other times people have had conflicts and we say, nope, it's okay. You can still make an informed decision. Your participation is important. So it's up okay. for the body to decide. So Any what, other pertinent language and noise that they may not understand in these meetings? No. No? I don't know. I, I'm sure. I, for one, will not abbreviate as much as we have in the past oh. because it's very difficult as a new member to hear BRDA2. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to take some time to actually read out the whole um summary of whatever we're talking about yep. even if i don't know how to pronounce it i'm going to do my best yep um so i'm that's that's my part of this we're heavy on the acronyms you are, and yeah. i try to remember it but i don't always do it so and there's your, seasoned people here and they get it and then there's new people yep. here that don't get it so by the time we're done with the year hopefully we're using the acronyms and yep. everybody understands what's going on yeah and your job is to say hey whoop, what is that right she's Merca? talking to you guys yeah you guys. but your job yeah. your job is to stop yeah Absolutely. All right. So, what do we expect from you? Oh, no Lots surprises. I know. We're giving them surprises. snacks. We're giving them snacks. Yeah, yeah. So, no surprises is super simple. When you come into a board meeting, you don't go, "Geez, there's a whole contingent of people who are really angry about blah 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 blah." Wow. We probably should have known about that right when it was happening. Like, let us know. The board meeting is a place where we'll discuss things, but there are times that the president, CEO, the rest of the board might need to be kind of kept in the loop a little bit beforehand. So let us know what's going on. Let us know what you're hearing. You know, no surprises, right? No surprises. Nine yeah. meetings. Remember that, guys. So, yeah. like, treat it like a showing. Don't come in here and say, I got to leave early because I got a showing. You already know the schedule for the whole year. Just block the time. Give us the hour, that's all. We've reduced the meetings to make it more comprehensive and quick, so that all you gotta do is come in here for an hour and get out. MLS, hour and a half, board hour, yep. okay? So just treat it like that. You have the schedule, if you don't have the schedule, let us know, we'll get it to you, so that you can fill your calendar today, so you know you're all set for the whole year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there's also a little thing online, hopefully you've seen that, um, uh, like kind of website that we made for leadership. It has what confidentiality is, what um, antitrust is, all of that. So go look at that. There's also a really cool thing called what's the traits of a good meeting participant. And I think that those are perfect. And it's all about, you know, how you ask questions, how you respect the people in the room. Um, we've always had really cool board, I think boards, they've always been really curious about what other people have to say. They haven't been like really argumentative and no. Um, yeah. So we've always had really cool boards. So we're looking forward to another year of that. I'm just asking you to be respectful. If somebody's talking, you know, wait your turn. We'll definitely get to you. Um, which hasn't really been a problem in the past. No, you know, honestly, when it is, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that people really get bugged about are side conversations when there's a little, you know, three people sit, sitting near each other who are kind of talking amongst themselves and that's like, Hey, 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 bring it back to the room. So right. easy enough. All what right. Else? No stupid questions. Again, ask in advance, ask at the meeting, never, ever, ever hesitate. Um, I still am asking questions and I've been here for way too many years. So, um, listen, we did that. This is Jay's philosophy. Um, really, if uh, eight, eight people have said the same thing, you don't need to say it again. You can say, I agree, um, but you don't need to feel like to, you need to speak to every motion. So don't feel obligated to do that. But we want to make sure that we know, you know how you're feeling about that. Yeah, we want your voice, but if your voice was the same as the last three that just spoke, just hold it. Yep, you know? same, I agree. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Yep. Let's take the vote. Cool. Decisions are made by those that show up, easy enough. Um, get here. Yeah, it's get here, read the materials. The materials are the most important thing. Have fun. Have fun. What about fun? Well, we're going to have some fun coming up, hopefully. Um, we want to also focus when you're having fun on the positive people. Sometimes you have, and I've been really guilty of this, we've had just some really complaining people to say it super easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Super, and it's really easy to just deal with the complaining people to try to make them happy. Um, and then you forget and you spent no time on all the people who are happy using your services and really, and you know, forward. and moving forward. So we're going to nix so that this year. Try to really make sure that we're keeping focused on the positive people and people are going to really need us this year. I think they're going to need, I do. yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough year. We're going to get through it. Yep. Um, I'm excited about it. 
Um, what else? I think that's it. Be the kind of leader you follow, which is, you know, upbeat, can do. Uh, we are, we are, <laughs> right? You give us, you know, you, you work hard, you, you have fun, you do the whole thing. This is the thing. We have asked for a fun fact from everybody, and I have not gotten a fun fact from everybody. I asked for everybody to do three things. Three things? Sign a leadership agreement. Okay. We have about three people who haven't. I asked everybody to send in a fun fact because there's going to be an interesting little um, introduction. And then I've asked everybody to RSVP to the Nocher Lounge gathering so that we can get to know each other in a little bit more of a fun way. Yeah, that's going to be an exciting night. You can't miss that. Yeah, we're yeah. excited. We're going to do some planning when we get done here. And that's it. So three things, send them in. Let's get if them done. you haven't done. done it. Let's target like this Friday. Yeah. Let's target this Friday. Let's do it. Yep. And then if I don't, what do you think? Should we post the, um, the list of everybody who's responded or not? I think we should put it on Facebook. <laughs> It makes perfect sense. Sounds, Call them right out. Exactly. Yeah. And I had this, um, I made this funny little graphic. I saw. To end it, yeah. <laughs> um, because this is Jay's year, he wanted to do this yeah. fun little video. He said, it, this is actually from the office, it's stolen from the office. You can see I did a really awesome you job did. cropping yeah, your can't head. Can't even tell. Over, yeah. Overlapping it. Uh, what would you rather be, feared or loved? You want to be both? We want people to be afraid of how much they love you, right? That's By right. The end of it. We're going to have fun. We are. It's going to be a great year. And you guys are going to be a big part of it. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Peace.